Hello kids, my young scientists, and welcome to Mr. Patrick's Laboratory. We're gonna have a great time this week. Hey, last week we were talking about heat and energy and the what heat is and lack of heat. We used to call that cold, but we learned last week it's heat and lack of heat. Heat going out, heat coming in, endothermic, exothermic. As a matter of fact, on Friday we made homemade ice cream. So I hope that you and your family had a great time with that. If you missed out, Go back to last Friday and you can see where we made homemade ice cream using changes in energy. This week we're moving into something very different. We're going to move into an area called physics. Physics is a really cool area and we don't actually need goggles for this one. Now, actually there is part, I'm going to use my goggles here in a minute, but physics is usually things that we know how to do like this. When you throw a ball, I know where to put my hand so I know how to catch. I know that if it's something is bouncing, where it's going. A lot of you play sports and you know that when a ball is hit, and you know where to run so that you can catch it or a ball is thrown or you kick a ball. All of those things are based on physics and we're gonna do some physics this week. As a matter of fact, we're gonna look at one specific one called Bernoulli's Principle. Bernoulli's Principle is, says, as a fluid increases in speed, it exerts less pressure. Now that can be a little confusing, so let me explain that. As a fluid, now, most of what we're going to do this week is going to be based on air, but we'll do a little bit with water also. As, a, as air increases in speed, it pushes less. That's really what it means. Okay? So we talked about in one of the other videos, we talked about how there's pressure on things all the time. As a matter of fact, oh, maybe you did this one with me. We took an aluminum can and we smashed it with air pressure. Pressure is not just used in chemistry, it's used in physics. Okay? And so we're going to look at some of those more specifically. What was that called? Bernoulli's principle. Okay, so let's talk about pressure here for a minute. Pressure pushes all the time. Air's pushing. Matter of fact, if you get in your car and you're driving in the mountains or you get in an airplane, pressure's changing. You can feel it on your ears. Some of you like swimming. You jump in and you swim down and you can feel the pressure on your ear. That's pushed by water. So we said fluid would be air or water. Okay, now pressure's pushing on us all the time and I want to show you what pressure can do for us or do with us. Now I saw this one one time a long time ago when I was a, probably in middle school or high school. This is just a wooden slat. Now it can be used, uh, an example you might get something like this, you might get a paint stirring stick at one of the uh, place, you know, at a paint store and they're free, okay? It's thin, okay, it almost looks like a ruler. Now what I'm gonna do in a minute, you can do this at home, but you need to make sure it's okay with your mom and dad if you use a ruler. But it's, you know, it's, it's just a wooden slat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it on the table and I'm gonna take some paper. Now, the way I used to do it was <clears throat> I, I used to have newspaper. Now, newspaper doesn't always come to your house. If newspaper comes to your house, that's great. You can use that. Or junk mail. I bet you get that. Junk mail. But I'm just gonna use some paper, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that paper. Miss Christie's gonna get over here a little bit so she can see a little bit better. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have about seven or eight pieces of paper on here. I'm just gonna lay it across here, okay? Now, Air pressure <coughs> is pushing in all directions. It's pushing here, it's pushing here, it's pushing here. Now, I'm gonna wear my goggles for this one, okay? Because something interesting is gonna happen. Now, notice real quick, I have the stick under the paper and it's laying here and pressure's holding it. Now, what would happen is if I push on this stick, look at the paper move. See that paper moving, okay? What I'm gonna do is very quickly, I'm gonna slap it here in a second and watch what happens. Air pressure is pushing right here. Here we go. Wow, look what happened. There's my stick. No, it's not. Check it out, Miss Christy. There's the other part of it. How did that happen? Well, it was pressure. Let me explain. As this stick was under here, air was pushing on all of this paper, and when I slapped it really hard, I actually, the pressure was holding the stick down enough that it actually broke. And so I used pressure of air and I was battling against it, okay? So we're gonna use pressure in a lot of different ways. And we said that most of what we're gonna do is gonna be pressure with air, but we can also do pressure with water. So we're gonna do another quick demo and I don't need my goggles anymore, so I'm gonna put those off to the side. Our second one that we're going to do is gonna look like this. I'm gonna take a straw, just an ordinary straw, and uh, it can be a bendy straw or not a bendy straw, it doesn't matter for this one and a little strip of paper. All I did was I took a piece of paper like this and I just cut it, just a small strip of paper. Now, Bernoulli's principle said, as air moves faster, it has less pressure, okay? And so here's what I'm gonna end up doing. All right, I'm gonna stand here like this 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this straw, and what I'm going to do, see how that little strip of paper is bent down? I'm going to take this straw and I'll blow across the top. Watch what the paper does. See how it stood up? Check this out again. Okay, so here's what's happening. I'm blowing air really fast across the top of the paper. Now she's going to get it right over my shoulder. Here we go. See how it stood up? Here's what's going to happen. As I blow air, what did Bernoulli's principle said? The faster air moves, the less pressure it has. Okay, so when I blow... There's more pressure under here, and it makes that piece of paper go up, okay? So I'm blowing across the top of it really good. See it stand up? There's a difference in pressure. So I have less pressure on top, so the normal air pressure pushes the strip of paper up. Now I'm going to show that to you in a couple of other different ways, okay? I have two books that are about the same height. Okay, I have two books about the same height. What I'm going to do is steal one of these pieces of paper I had a while ago, and I'm going to use that same straw. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the paper like this, and this time, so I had this strip of paper, remember? And I was blowing across the top. I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to take the straw, and I'm going to blow under this paper. Watch what happens. Did you see that? You see the paper go down? As Miss Christie gets down close to table level, watch this. It actually touched the table. Watch it do it again. Let me straighten it out. Okay, I'll flip it over so you can see it. Okay, here we go. How did it happen? Where was the fastest air? The fastest air was under it, so there was less pressure. So where was the greater pressure? Air pressure pushed it down. So one more time. See it bend that paper one more time. And air pressure pushes it down. Okay? So it's a change in pressure. Now she's going to stay right there when I do this last one. So I did it with a strip of paper. I did it with a full sheet of paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper tent. Now all I did was take a piece of paper and I just tore it and made a little tent out of it. And we're going to do the same kind of thing again. Except under here, I'm going to blow. Now, see where the straw comes through right there? That's where I'm going to blow the air. I'm going to blow it right under there like that. Here we go, Miss Christie. See how it went flat, but it jumped back up. One more time. <laughs> that was funny. How's it doing that? I have fast air going under it, so air pressure is pushing down. I didn't have to blow near as hard. This is a great one for younger kids. They don't have to blow in the straw near as hard. Okay. That Again, that one's very different from this one because you have to use a lot of air. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two real quick. Okay. So I'm going to take that. That book needs to be in just a normal book, not super thick because it would be really hard. And I didn't have them far enough apart. And so you have to experiment with it. Now, I've had to do that a lot today as I get practice in it. and it starts to bend, okay? And you gotta really practice with it. So you gotta get it at the right distance and practice with it. Really worked that time. Oh, happened. I had to blow faster. I learned something really fast to watch this. Didn't take near as much. Why? It's not as big, and so you have to work at it a little bit, and so you have to play with it a little bit. It's called Bernoulli's Principle. where are using air to get us to do some work for it, okay? And so there's lots of applications that we use in all kinds of areas, okay? So, so far, we used air, we used a straw, and so we used a strip of paper, a full sheet of paper, and then we made like a paper tent to do that. Now, on this one, I'm going to do a little bit different, but I'm going to use balloons so you can see what's happening. Now, she's going to come around the other side so you can see what's happening. You'll see, first of all, that I have a hanger that has balloons hanging on it. And with those balloons, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to let them settle here for a second. And so I have them um, just like, I have them just hanging right here so you can see what's happening. Okay. 
They are the same height, try to get them at the same height, and so I have them, all I have is fishing line, okay, on a hanger, okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a hook, and it's just the handle of this cabinet, and we'll give them just a second to slow down and get still, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Now, I'm going to use that straw, okay, I'm going to use that straw, and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let them settle for a second, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow a stream of air right between them. Now, we learned in Bernoulli's principle that as air speeds up, does it have more or less pressure? Less. Yeah, it has less pressure. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a greater pressure. So what's going to happen is, as I blow air through there real fast, you even sort of saw it when I moved my hands through there. There's going to be greater pressure here, and you're going to see the two balloons are going to be drawn close to each other. All right? So we'll get myself steady as Miss Christy gets there, and I, I made a little bit of a breeze as I walked by, so I'm going to let it stop for a second. So I'm going to blow right between them with the straw. Now I'm going to have to drop, blow sort of quick. Now here's the hint, kids. You don't want to blow it at, and I have a yellow and a red one. I don't want to blow it at the balloon. I want to blow it between it. When I start going, watch how they start going toward each other. Oh, did you see that happen? Okay, I'm going to fix that a little bit on the cabinet so you can see it just a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Okay, do it again. Let, let it settle for a second. All right. Come on, balloon. Slow down. Slow down. Good boy. Okay, here we go. Do you see them attracted to each other that time? Miss Christy missed it that time. All right, let's try it again. You could see me doing it, okay? Making sure I know what the view is here, okay? So this time I'm gonna let them stop one more time. So I'm gonna start with slow air and then I'm gonna slowly speed it up. All right, here we go. See them drawn together? Isn't that awesome? Now, I'm gonna make it a little bit harder this time. Okay, I'm gonna push them further apart. Now, if they're further apart, do you think I have to use more or less air to get them to move? Does the, let, let me ask that better. Does the air need to go faster or slower? Well, they're further apart, so I've got to get them go, the air to go a lot faster. Now, I'm going to see. I, I used to play in the band. Whew, I don't know if I have enough air, Miss Christy, to make this one work. I just don't know. So I'm going to try to get it to stop for a second. There we go. Slow down. It's far, much further apart than they were. Here we go. Oh, it's trying, but I got a better idea. If this isn't enough, I'm going to try something else. <laughs> Look what I have. This is a hair dryer. Now, this hair dryer has a low and a high speed, okay? Now, you need to make sure it's okay with your mom if you do it. Now, this is what's really important. This hair dryer always blows hot, except it has a button to push to blow cold air, okay? I don't want to overheat my hair dryer as I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do is I want it to go in one place so... I have a paper towel roll. It goes inside of a paper towel, and we'll put it on the end. I'm just going to hold it, and it gives me so I can point exactly where I want it to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it like this, then I'm going to bring it right between them. I want you to see how fast those balloons try to come together. Now, i got to be really careful. I don't want to blow it at the yellow one or the red one, so let's see what happens. I'll make sure I know where the high is. I do, and I'm going to have it on hold. All right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to blow it right between them. Watch how fast they move. Whoop. See it? That was awesome. And then they got all tangled up. Why'd they do that? The pressure got so great on them that it just pulled them together and the, the strings got twisted. All right? Now, you may think, I don't, I don't have a hair dryer like that or I can't make that work. Here's another option. Okay? This is nothing more than you blow up an air mattress with it. Oops. My strings got out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to push it way back over here and let it get self, self set back up. This is nothing, I blow up an air mattress. This just happens to me in my house. For a couple of things I'm gonna do today in the next couple of days, if you don't have a hair dryer that you can use, it works very good. If you have one of these, this one has a small spout on it. So I bet it works really good too. So I'm gonna plug it in super quick, Miss Christy. Let's see what this one does, okay? Oh, get that over. Okay, here we go. Now this one, man, this one. Oh, stop moving balloons, stop. Boy, that's what's hard when you do these. When you move around, you move the air and you don't even know it. All right, here we go. This one's not going to take very much. Ready? Here it comes. Woo! 
see it? That was fast. I can't blow that hard with a straw. I just can't. And so what happens is, remember Bernoulli's principle, the faster the air goes, the less pressure. So I have great pressure out here and it just pushes the balloons together. Now I've done it with a straw. I've done it in a couple of different ways. Now here's what's really interesting. You stay right there for a minute, Miss Christie. What, what happens is I was blowing it in a straight line. I was blowing it over paper and it stood up. Remember that? I did it over under a sheet of paper and the paper uh, bent. I did it under a paper tent and I did it between balloons. But what happens if I blow it on an object? Okay, what happens if I blow it on an object? Well, if I blow on a balloon, that's easy. I've seen that before. But watch what happens when you use a round object. I'm gonna use a ping pong ball. Okay, now a ping pong ball, just a normal ping pong ball. And I'm gonna take that same hair dryer and I'm gonna do Bernoulli's principle in exactly the same way that we were just doing. Okay, okay, watch what happens. I'm gonna put it on high. Whoops, I gotta plug it back in. That'd be good. If I plug it back in, we need electricity. And so here's what's gonna happen I'm going to do Bernoulli's principle with a ping pong ball. Now watch. And I'll let go. Whoa! It's like magic. How's it doing that? Now watch the ball. Do you see the little label on it moving? Do you see that? Yeah. Now what here, watch, here's what's crazy. Watch. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I can make it move around. I can move the hair dryer and it fell out. Okay, so I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Check that out. That's really cool. Now, show you, if I had, sometimes some of your hair dryers may not blow like this. This one has a really small end on it. Sometimes you might have to take uh, like a paper towel roll and tape it to it. Mine doesn't have to, but if yours has a really big end on it, you might have to get a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll so you get it going in one place. Now, let me explain what's happening. When this ball is floating like this, air is coming around it, and that's exactly what's happening. It's coming around it and it's going whoop like that. So it's going around it. And so what's happening is it's the air's doing this around it. Okay. And so it, do you see how it's jumping around? And this Bernoulli's principle is actually holding it in place. Here it goes. I hold it. Takes a little practice. I've been practicing a lot before you guys see it. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Now watch. I can make it go up high. Or I'm going to turn it down. Watch it go lower. Watch. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Turn it up. Isn't that cool? And even if, I, if I'm really steady, I can go one side, and then I can go the other side. Bernoulli's principle. This is a great one. If you don't have a ping pong ball at home, they have, look, looks like magic. I can just grab it out of the air. It looks like magic. You can get a ping pong ball at just a dollar store, okay? And they have two or three of them in a container. It takes a little press, practice. You gotta hold it straight like that, and it just sits there. And what do you think happens if I cut off the air? It stops, why? There's no more pressure. So I have air moving very quick right past this ball. So what do you think would happen if I tried with a tennis ball? That'd be cool. Watch this. That didn't work. Why? Because it wasn't enough pressure. Okay? So I have to get it to go faster. Huh. Before our next one, I got to figure out how to do something like that. You know what? It's game on. We're going to have a great time. Bernoulli's principle. We did it in like five ways today. Try it at home. In the next video, we'll do it in some other ways that you can do it at home and amaze your parents and your grandparents. If you can get it to work, take a short video. Post it down here so I can see it happen. We'll see you in the next case on Mr. Patrick's Laboratory doing physics together. Bernoulli's principle.